my brother, Dr. Wilson, left us with a quote that says, to manipulate history is to manipulate consciousness. To manipulate consciousness is to manipulate possibilities. And to manipulate possibilities, black people, is to manipulate your power, right? So I just want to close with this if I have two minutes. If you can give me two minutes. Right, I want to close with this. It's saying that black history, while you should be proud of your history, if you don't want to remain in the same condition that we are in today, we own and control less than one half of 1% of everything of value in this country, yet we are the largest consumer spenders of goods. When you go into our communities, we do not own the stores in our communities, which means at 9 o'clock at night, a man who doesn't look like you takes a little bag of money from your side of town to another part of the town, making that part of town wealthy and your part of town poor. But we ask for jobs. We vote in elections and ask politicians to do something, but they work for us. I've looked at the, the state of politics in this city and in this state. I'm in the procurement of contracts industry and construction. Do you guys know how hard it is to be a black man and a builder? Do you know how much we get less than one half of 1% of the state's construction budget nationwide? They just passed a bill called the American Rescue Plan and we're still waiting for the Build Back Better bill to be passed. Where are we at, family? There's a pathway to citizenship attached to this legislation which means that not only are they going to put out $2.2 trillion, they're also going to walk labor through the southern border right past your community. But family, we vote for immigration. We say bring them all in. They're our brothers. Meanwhile, we have to compete with people for jobs. God bless those people. We don't have a country to go back to. We don't get deported anywhere but to the state and federal prison.